Hi, in this episode I thought I would take a closer look at the corner labels in map layouts. Um, I made this layout uh, previously and uh, it works fine. I can add uh, uh, labels to the corners that I want corner labels for and I can make an expression and it's very dynamic but uh, if I move the map or resize it the labels are not part of the map they are separate elements so I thought can I do that in another way so they are connected to the map and yes I can it will not look exactly the same but it may be helpful for uh, some of you so let me remove those and the way I will add this is by adding another grid to the map so let's go to the grids and add uh, another grid and I will actually use the neat line grid which is basically just a, a line border nothing else but I will um, add labels to this and uh, the way I will uh, focus them on the corners are by using um, the appearance or the interval and the offset and custom functions for that so let me switch to a presentation so by first of all starting my offset at the lower left corner of the map in question the, the map element. Uh, I will use the minimum x rounded up and the minimum y rounded up as an offset. The interval will be the map uh, extent height and map extent width, width uh, minus the floor of that minus one. So I can guarantee that the 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 well, what do you call it the, the ticks for the coordinates are actually inside the map, and uh, one here is less than one. So in a scale of uh, one in fifty thousand k, that is acceptable to me. Uh, so I will copy this expression and here I will paste the expression and you can edit it so you see it here I will copy this one paste Copy this one, oops, paste, and this one, paste. Nothing is shown, but that is because I haven't turned on coordinates yet. So let me turn that on, and you see there are now coordinates for each of the corners. Uh, and now I can just customize these as I see fit. So I will use a custom and I will do format number and use the gri oh, grid number like that. And I will change the font to a smaller one, even smaller, even smaller, like that, so it fits inside my frame. And I will rotate the top and the bottom. Uh, labels in, in this way. So now I have the corner labels for uh, each of the corners and uh, they do follow the 
map layouts. So if I move it, it will stay with the map. If I resize it, they will stay with the map. And, whoops, as you can see here, if I pan the map, they will still uh, stay with the map. If I find myself in a situation like this, it could be helpful to change, for instance, the uh, let me see, grids. It was in the neat line, and I will rename that to neat line corner label corner labels. Uh, I will change the font color to uh, a little bit more gray. And I will also make sure that it is underneath the, the kilometer label. And I will probably move that one underneath as well. So it is visible but it isn't obtrusive. So now when I move, move it, it will hopefully uh, be clear enough and work in most of my cases. Uh, hopefully this uh, short video was helpful and uh, I hope to see you next time.